Good morning, guys. We are on our way to Belgrade. Uh, probably about an hour and a half drive. It is 8 a.m. and I'm really excited to show you guys Belgrade. I don't know what to expect. Um, I've only been there for a very short time when I got off the plane a uh, few times. So we're gonna spend some time there and I will show you around. I've gotten extremely mixed comments on what Belgrade is like. So I'm very excited to show you guys my uh, experience. I just wanted to point out that these highways are so, so nice. I mean, the actual pavement, the street is really well kept. And um, a big part of that is because they are toll roads. As we were approaching Belgrade, uh, you could definitely see a layer of pollution, which is pretty common for every big city in the world. And when I say big city, Belgrade is massive. It's almost overwhelming, the history and just how large this city is. Um, according to census, the population of Belgrade is 1,411,000, which is only the metro area. So I'm sure Belgrade as a whole is actually much larger. This is the only city in Europe that lies on the convergence of two big rivers, the Sava and the Danube. This city has such a rich history. Over the centuries, it's seen over 15 different name changes. This video is not nearly long enough to go over the entire history. You'll have to do some research. It's so intriguing. Uh, my first impressions of Belgrade are that it's just a big old city. Um, it's just like a lot of other big old cities, lots of pollution, uh, kind of dirty, but also really nice in some areas as well. Belgrade is world renowned, very well known for its nightlife, although we did not indulge because we had the two babies with us, obviously. Uh, it is really hot today and extremely humid, but, um, you know it's it's doable i'm assuming also because we're from las vegas it's okay <clears throat> um but and there's a lot of people out and about so i mean but this is to them considered a uh, total like heat wave it's not very common for it to get this hot these trees are so incredible they're they have these huge leaves on them uh, they're really lush and they're shade trees, but the leaves are all so big. I don't even think the camera does it justice. It's really bizarre looking, actually. Really beautiful. The first impression that I got being a mother is that Belgrade is extremely kid-friendly. There was a bunch of things to do and they really integrate uh, like children's playgrounds into everyday life. Being from the States, which is generally a younger country, it's really breathtaking and incredible to see everything and just know how old everything is in this city. So this is on the way to Kalemegdan and uh, you can see it back there in the background. This fortress was breathtaking i mean it's massive it, there was absolutely no way we could have covered it in the short time that we were there it's so stunning and full so of gate history we're about to go through is called kara george's gate and i'm definitely not pronouncing that properly my husband can do it much better oh he dropped his juice uh it's named after Kara George, which um, he organized the very first uprising against the Ottoman Empire uh, for Serbia's independence. And that was uh, in 
1804 to 1813. And that is what this gate here is named after that we're walking through right now. So the gate was named after Caracciorce, but the entire fortress was actually built in 279 BC. That is just crazy to me. And the amount of wars and battles that this thing has seen, I mean, it's, it's just so overwhelming, the size of it. And you can actually see the... Uh, the aftermath and the remnants of all of the battles fought and the damage that it caused to the structure. Belgrade is how we pronounce it in English, but it's actually pronounced Belgrad, and that means white city. So we might be in the coolest playground I've ever been in, uh, and they've turned it into just this like dinosaur oh my gosh it's so cool uh, for kids specifically for kids this city is so great for kids like seriously so the reason these windows would be tapered out like this is so that archers could send their arrows in every direction I just thought this was so amazing that this little playground that they made, which was actually really nice, was just right here next to this fortress that's literally thousands of years old. And we saw a little owl in that tiny little hole up there. It was so cool. This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay, baby. Oh, look at this. We're just in the fortress, this little playground. Imagine these walls and like just what has gone on, all the wars, everything that it has stood up against. They're thousands of years old. Okay. We came to Belgrade and we're eating burritos, yes. But the burritos are actually really good. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I really wish we had more time to explore Belgrade. It's just so, so rich with history and there's absolutely no way that we could have visited the Nikola Tesla Museum, the Museum of Serbian Art, Contemporary Art. I mean, there was quite a few that we would have loved to see. And sometime in the future, we'll definitely take the time to do those things. But with babies and with this crazy heat wave that we were having, there was just no way that we could fit everything in. Oh, there's also a Septer Museum, which I thought would have been pretty cool. <laughs> Hey guys, so Belgrade is pretty awesome. It's really safe, really chill. Um, lots of shopping on this street. This is a main street. Uh, it's so hot during the day that like the city just comes alive at night. <clears throat> We're probably gonna get some food 
and head back to the room in a little bit. But for now, we're just walking around and enjoying the night. I think uh, he's enjoying Belgrade. He likes watching all the buses and cable cars. It's a cool city. I'm definitely kind of bummed that we didn't get any footage of the rivers, but it was just too hot and with the babies it just wasn't going to happen that we got out during the day and in the sun. We were only here for a very short time and this was certainly not enough time to explore the entire city. I almost feel like you could live an entire lifetime here and still not be able to explore everything. That's it for Belgrade guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not.